Now, last night, millions of us tuned in to the jaw-dropping finale, easy for me to say, of the BBC One drama Life. And if you didn't see it, this is what you missed. Now, we're not going to spoil it for you in case you didn't watch it, but do if you didn't watch it, because it's really good. But what do we think? Is it ever OK to jilt someone at the altar or even beforehand, Janet? You're giving me a look. <laughs> I'm the dumb purr rather than the dumb <laughs> pee. <laughs> I did do it myself. At the altar like that? No, or... not at the altar. I was engaged. I'd been engaged for probably about a year. I was 19 or 20 years old and I, I was at college uh, and I had planned... It was in the autumn, late autumn. And then I went to uh, an art exhibition, a photographic exhibition, and I saw this man who was very attractive and he asked me out. And I said, I can't go because I'm engaged. And I actually couldn't say the word. And when I couldn't say the word, I knew that it was hopeless. And uh, he said, who to? And I pointed at this man on the other side of the room that was my fiance <coughs> and that I was supposed to marry in April the next year. Uh, and we we're going to have a church wedding and all of that would have been a bit of a first for me. Is it? <laughs> I've never done it since. Um, and I said, it's him. And he went, well, I dump him. So I went, oh. OK, I'll go out with you. I'll see you for dinner. And the next day I met my fiancé in a pub and I'm afraid I dumped him. I chose a very noisy pub and he said, what's up? And I went, "We're up. it's off. Hmm. And he went, well, it's off! <laughs> Oh, my God. But how oh, did he take it? <laughs> but don't you think you did the right thing? I did the right thing in a really, really bad way. Oh. And, you know, I freely admit yeah. it was really, really cruel and I was the wrong age to do it tactfully and I didn't... But it, I'm glad I did it. Mm. And, mm. you know... But Janet... Yes? Janet, if you had, a year later, gone forward with these plans and met the same guy two nights before your wedding, do you think you would have gone through with it or do you think you would have had the you-know-whats to call it off? Um, I think I would have still called it off because I've met uh, my ex-fiancé since and I know that I made the right decision. Um, but, you know, my mother was absolutely disgusted with me and they, my parents said, you know, it's embarrassing, what are we going to tell the relatives? And this, and this is for a wedding that was like four months down the line. And can I ask what happened to the man who said you should dump him? Um, well, he's still around. Okay. You married oh, no, him. You I married, married him. Oh, sorry, yeah. the man I dumped is still around. Mm. My first husband, I married him uh, just over a year later. My parents didn't meet him until two weeks before the wedding and they had kept up this war of how I had done the wrong thing and I'd embarrassed them. And then when they met him, well, obviously, he was lovely mm. and his parents were lovely mm. and I got a double-barrelled name. <laughs> <laughs> you, which you kept. That's the only thing she kept from the wedding, isn't it? Yeah, well, I was married to him very happily for seven mm. years and, you know, I was with him, uh, you know, and I, I stayed very mm. friendly with him, but I, I, it was the right decision. Yeah. But, you know, it's very hard to um, dump someone or... There's no tactful way of doing it. There's no And I think, way, often no. think that your parents are the people that are going to take it the worst. Mm. Well, I've been very happily married for 30 years now, but our wedding day should have been the 25th of August um, and all the family were coming over from Ireland. We had a big wedding plan but planned. All the flowers and everything yeah. were there. So about... On the week before, we'd come back from Cyprus, took my mum and that out to Cyprus, so we all went out to Cyprus and then came back and then my uncle Sean had a heart attack and died, my mum's brother, and then two or three days before the wedding, my mum had a heart attack and ended up in hospital, so in intensive care. So we had to cancel our wedding and I remember thinking, I wonder if this is an omen, I wonder if oh. I shouldn't marry him or whatever. Anyway, we then re-planned like planned the wedding mm. and we got married on the 16th of September, which was three weeks later, because my mum kept saying, hurry up and get married in case I'm not here for the wedding and that. So we re-planned the wedding and we got married on the 16th of September and it was the loveliest day ever, honestly, because mm. she was there and we just all had a great time. And that was 30 years ago. Yeah, so it wasn't an omen. But, the, you know, the whole thing about pre-wedding jitters is totally normal. Yeah. I mean, it's a very rational thing to, to feel, you know, nervous about the idea of, of getting married, never mind for the, for the first time, but also, you know, 
We've been married a couple of times, haven't we? Haven't we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> haven't we all, all, of all of us? <laughs> yeah, well, I've had jitters about all of them, but that one was the right thing. Yeah. No, I know. I, I felt very, very nervous uh, getting married for the third time because obviously it hadn't worked out very well being married before. And I was very nervous sitting in the in the registry office be beforehand. The registrar was really kind and gave me a glass of water and, you know, calming me down. Are you okay? And, one of the things I'm, you know, that we don't take into account is that feeling you get when you walk through the doors and you yeah. see your husband to be. And for me, all my fears just literally disappeared like that in an instant as soon as I saw him. I was just so. <gasps> I mean, that was the two of us. My son Finley watched me down the tiny bit that you'd call an aisle, just basically through a door <laughs> in the registry office, and we just looked at each other. And at that moment, it was. Just beautiful, really beautiful. So yeah, so nerves beforehand are normal. Don't necessarily jack it all in just because you're a little bit scared. It's very difficult to know.